Hey guys, what is up? So, finally getting around to doing that Nine Muses collection video that I've been talking about for the longest time. And what better time to do so than a couple of days away from their subunit comeback, or actually their debut. Um, so yeah, uh, let's just go ahead and get started. So, the piece that kicks everything off for them, we have their Let's Have a Party release. And I was fortunate enough to buy one that had uh, Rana's signature. Um, just a fantastic song, No Playboy, I think it just really has a great feel to it and just a great overall sound. I think a lot of people tend to give it a lot of flack because of the music video, they tend to associate, you know, just a really bad made video uh, with a song. But, um, you know, that's just my opinion, I think it's a great track. And ladies as well, um, this is actually a song that I believe twice kind of has a similar sound to um but that could just be me but yeah so moving on we'll get into their follow-up release which is figaro and here we already saw the departure of three what was it three uh so, yeah three of their members so this is where hiena joined and jack young beanie and rana left so this is actually a cool concept for them that they just never really have done uh, since this release. It has a really more sort of retro vibe to it and even the song as well kind of gives it a more throwback feel. So great release. Um, following that up we have another digital release. So this is their new song and here we see the arrival of some new members. So here we have uh, Kyungri. And it's a great song. Uh, at first, I wasn't the biggest fan of it just because of sort of like the intro of it. It kind of threw me off. But, you know, once I got past that, uh, definitely found it to be quite enjoyable. And one of my favorite tracks. So, great release. Then, moving on to their follow-up, we go into their Sweet Rendezvous release, which has uh, the title, tack title track, uh, Ticket which is just a really unique song. You don't really hear anything else or yeah, really have anything else out there that sounds similar to it. So just a fantastic uh, standout track. And even if you weren't able to get the previous digital singles, they did incorporate Figaro and News into this, which I give them a uh, thumbs up because I know some companies don't really uh, do that with their digital singles. So that was really cool and just overall fantastic. So great release and just fantastic sort of track to get you hyped up. And <clears throat> moving past that, we go into their Dolls release, which is just probably top two or top three tracks for me. Uh, everything about this comeback was just done phenomenally well. Uh, here to kick off the year, uh, we had the arrival of Sangha into the group and just overall fantastic. Here we have Hiemi who uh, she really resembles Jessica a lot uh, in that one photo, but just extraordinary photo book and, you know, you guys have seen like fan cams or performances, you know, the dance that um, Erin and Kyungri do, really gonna miss that now with Erin out of the group, but <clears throat> uh, just terrific track. And then, great follow up to that, we have Wild. Uh, another fantastic track uh, music video as well very dark but you have those nice hints of red throughout it uh, really makes the video pop in a black and white setting and just really really strong track as well uh, some great rappings and a while ago um, I forget someone had mentioned in the comment that for this photo book you have like two different spellings if I can get throughout it uh, for Kyungri's name so in the credit section, they spell it uh, like this. And then literally like two pages before that, you have it spelled that way. So you have K-Y-E as opposed to G-Y-U. So really interesting thing uh, to see Star Empire. I don't know, I'm, I'm just going to assume it's like a mistake. Um, kind of silly though, since they are kind of responsible for like her name and stuff. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. They do spell it different times throughout, like, all of the releases. 
but uh yeah so moving on we get into the prima donna uh album which is has up to this date has only been their first and only full-length album and that's a shame because this is uh just such a masterpiece um it's honestly up there for me alongside like pink tape which i know most of you are very well um like can associate uh the music with um not saying that it's the same music but on terms of in terms of just fantastic music uh this is definitely up there um and i would actually probably prefer this to pink tape uh that but that's just me honestly and you know you just get fantastic photo book they always give you high quality images like as a truck passes by we have uh hyena just fantastic and you know the gun music video was just is honestly one of my favorites uh very colorful and just great great song um can't get enough of it and this album as a whole just really gives you a uh, really more in-depth look as to their music they sort of switch it up um you get a few ballads you get a few more pop songs just overall fantastic uh, actually one of my favorite ballads from them is on here um which is last scene i believe um hope i got it right but <clears throat> definitely give the album a listen and then we move on to their next release which is actually the one that i was looking for for the longest time and it is glue which is my favorite track by them uh which is really saying something considering some of their other releases um you know, I was praising them a couple of minutes ago for them incorporating their digital singles into the album. So when I saw the track list for Prima Donna, I thought Glue would be on it, but I was sadly disappointed. So I had to search for this, and you know, luckily I managed to find one that was signed, though it did cost me a bit of money, but very well worth it. Um, just fantastic song, and like I said, it is my favorite release from them. And then that would be the last time we would see that lineup together, which for many people uh, was one of their best lineups. So then we move on to their next release uh, to start off the, the last year, uh, 2015, which is Drama. And then here we see uh, Kunju and Sojin joining the group, which is really cool because I think uh, the addition of like some more younger members um, just really sort of gave them a more fresh look to them, as you can see just from like the album pictures and like the cover of it you have like these colorful wigs which you never really saw that in any of their previous releases they seem to have more of a darker edge to them um excluding gun and figaro to an extent but uh yeah really great album uh drama was honestly one of the best songs which i felt should have really won but you know just unlucky <laughs> so uh moving past that we get into their special summer album which has Hurt Locker and honestly one of the best songs again for me of last year definitely for the summer which is saying a lot considering uh, all of the groups that were coming back around that time and you know you see everyone giving the photo book a lot of praise which you know it's without a doubt just honestly one of the best things you could ask for um and then you get like a really smaller one just for the CD holder and sort of their thanks to and just great track overall um, you guys haven't checked out Yes or No which is a side track in the album definitely do the girls I believe were responsible for like editing the video or making it and it's just really nicely done especially if you view it on your phone really cool and then moving on from there we get into their lost release which has sleepless nights uh, as the title track and at first i was not a big fan of this um but i think it was mainly due to like the male vocal sort of singing throughout the track or like sort of the chorus i think if kyungri had um sung the parts instead i would have preferred it a lot more or just any other any other any of the other girls really just would have um really made it really good for me but um you know it is what it is and i did learn to get past it and just enjoy the track 
but um you know even if it wasn't your cup of tea the entire album is just super solid you get to mine which is just a fantastic song that they perform uh for their fans a uh, secret which in my opinion and a lot of others really prefer or would have wished was the title track but um you know they do have to appeal to a different audience and just everything else uh kung chik da chi uh definitely butchered that but erin just has uh great raps in it uh really funny lines as well so definitely give this a listen and then <clears throat> to round off um everything that i have for them or for the most part uh i have their photo book which i'm not gonna take out because it's kind of a hassle to do so um actually i will disregard that so just fantastic photo book um i would have loved to do an unboxing for this but honestly it's just humongous this thing is like a textbook look at that like this thing is a holy grail but i'm um, just gonna do a quick skim like there's honestly so many photos in here that i can just stop and you know really praise but um you know for the sake of time and for the video uh just not gonna do so but just fantastic like phenomenal so definitely pick one up if you guys have the chance uh, and really support the girls or give them a listen uh, if you haven't and that will be it for me uh, definitely anticipating their subunit release um, so definitely let me know if you guys what you guys think of Nine Muses as a whole uh, are you a fan if you're not um, what is it that doesn't really get your attention but yeah anything else um, definitely missed a, I know I definitely missed a lot of points I wanted to cover but um, you know just gonna have to live with that so just once again thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next one bye mm <clears throat>